What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Pure Ghost back again with another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can solo duplicate any item in the game. All you have to do is actually own it first. So before we get into the duplication glitch, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Guys, about Digizani.com. They actually sell Modern Warfare 3 blueprint services, bot lobby services, skins, camos and stuff for any other game that you can possibly think of they've even got modded gta 5 accounts even for playstation 5 so guys if you want to skip the camo grind this year and get all of your camos easily in a boosting lobby for ps4 ps5 both xboxes and also pc click the link in the description below you once you click that link it'll say that you're shopping with pure ghost and when you check out you can use code pure p-u-r-e to save five percent on any order on the entire website it doesn't even have to be modern warfare 3 related yeah guys go check it out and now let's go back to the video so you might want to get a friend to go ahead and you know do the previous glitch drop you the stuff that you need and then you can start duping it for yourself or you can just load in like i am doing here uh, and grab you a pack a punch three crystal and a golden tool right off the spawn so that you can go do all your missions very easily and this will be here like this every single game you will never lose these tools or aether crystals as long as you do these steps so guys, like I said, the first thing you're going to want to do is get all the stuff that you want to dupe into your inventory. So one way or another, you know, if you have a friend, give it to you or whatever. Just have all the stuff in your large backpack. You do you do need a large backpack for this to work. So once you spawn into the game, uh, really all you're going to do is either have your friend that has done this before drop you a bunch of money or you're just going to go get a bunch of money. So I would suggest getting about $25,000 or 25,000 points uh, for this to work fluently. And so once you have the money that you need, uh, all you need to do now is buy tombstones. So you need to buy tombstone first. That needs to be the first thing that you do. And so now after you have tombstone, uh, you're going to want to place your tombstone somewhere safe, somewhere that you can get to from anywhere in the map. I like to do it here at this little police station. It's got an ammo. It's got an ammo refill. It's got a, a vehicle right next to it and a gas station so that you can repair it. And so this spot is where you're going to load into and you're going to come to this spot every game to grab your tombstone. So just make sure it's somewhere safe. Make sure you're running decoys as well so that you can, you know, get the zombies away from you if they're bothering you. So at this point, make sure you don't have on self-revive. Uh, just drop it from your inventory if you do. Uh, and like I said, now your backpack is full of the stuff you want to do. So let the zombies kill you or kill yourself somehow. Uh, you're going to go down. Then after you go down, you are going to give up completely. And then after that, you are going to leave the game and go back to the main menu. So as you can see, now everything that you had is reset. You have nothing in your inventory. You are immediately going to load back into a game of zombies. Now, once you get in zombies, the first thing you're going to do is go to your tombstone stash. And now from here, you should pick up all of the extra money that you had. Uh, you can pick up some of the tools and, you know, whatever you stored in your tombstone as well. Uh, but you're going to be coming back here, so it doesn't matter if you pick it all up at once right now. All right, so with the money that was in your tombstone, you're going to go to a tier three buy station. Now, I know this can be kind of scary, uh, but just get a car, drive up to it, you know, throw a decoy. Uh, and then you can purchase a large backpack. If you have enough for a three plate vest as well, just go ahead and do that. Uh, but really all you definitely need, you 100% need a large backpack for this to work or you're gonna lose your items. All right, so once you have your large backpack, you're gonna go back to your tombstone now. And from here, make sure you hit stow on all of your items so that you don't use them on the gun that you have in your hand. So just stow all the items into your backpack, uh, which is now a large backpack. And as you can see, when you pick it all up, the tombstone will actually crumble. It'll just disappear. It absolutely has to crumble every single game that you do this in. If you leave your tombstone in Xville, this will uh, not work and you'll have to restart from step one. So after your tombstone crumbles, uh, you can either use some of the tools if you want to just play out the match or if you want to duplicate it, you can go ahead and exfil. So with everything in your backpack now, as you can see, I'm exfilling. Uh, you are going to wait until it says uh, successful exfil. As soon as the blue screen pops up, basically, that says successful exfil, you're going to close your game. Uh, on PS5, I heard that it's kind of slow, so that you need you will need to disconnect your internet. You know, if you're running uh, Ethernet, just unplug it as soon as that screen comes up, and you should be fine. 
but I know it is a little bit harder to do on PS5, so, you know, just try to do the timing correctly. You might need to try to close the app a little before the blue screen, just so it does it in time. Yeah, on PC, you know, as soon as that screen comes up, Alt F4, uh, and then you can go ahead and hover over the close menu on Xbox if you're on the Series S or X. Uh, as soon as the blue screen pops up, you're just going to go ahead and close your app. Now, when you load back to the main menu, everything that you had in your inventory is now there. So you have a large backpack, you have your weapon, uh, and you have all of the tools and the crystals or whatever you do. It could be anything. It doesn't even have to be that. Uh, as you can see in my clip, I actually duplicated uh, a sentry gun, a monkey bomb, and a juggernaut that I had all in my tombstone. That's just to help with uh, the monkey bomb and sentry gun. You could do the pilot glitch with that. And then I got a juggernaut just for when I was doing the tier three bounties. But yeah, so it does not matter what you throw in here. You can throw in plans for the ray gun if you want to dupe it for somebody. Uh, but yeah, it does not matter at all. So guys, now you're back in the main menu. You have all your stuff. You can either proceed by throwing the stuff you just duplicated into your stash or you can load back into the game with it and use it now this is the part that's a little tricky for some people because they don't understand this uh so you have to do this basically every single game so as soon as you spawn in you now have to go get your tombstone uh which gives you you know your max tools and your max pack a punch and stuff like that you have to make sure that the tombstone goes away or that you know it breaks and disappears just like i said in the previous uh, and from there, you can play out the match, go do your contracts with a gold weapon that's triple packed and all that, uh, and try to get you some stuff. Uh, but when you go to Xville at the end of the game, you have to make sure that you now close the app or Alt F4 every single time that you do this, or this will reset and you'll lose the items uh, from your tombstone. So as long as you keep closing the app every time you Xville, that tombstone will appear in the next game that you play. So you have to do that every single time. Yeah, guys, I hope this video helped. Uh, this is a sick little solo glitch that you can do. You don't have to have any friends to do this. Uh, I'm also going to leave a text tutorial in the description just because it can be a little easier. Uh, and I explained it. Kind of weird. It's, it's hard to, to explain in video form. So yeah, just follow step by step and this will work uh, flawlessly. I've been doing this all day, basically. Just doing my, my story missions and my contracts with all gold weapons. Triple packed super easy but anyways guys it has been your boy pure ghost remember to like the video subscribe for more hit that notification bell to never miss an upload from me yeah guys it's been your boy pure ghost i'm out